what is up everybody welcome back to a brand new video today here on Codename Pizza and today we're going to be talking about absolutely everything that we know is coming to Vanguard Zombies multiplayer just the game in general through leaks and through official sources so if you're excited in any way shape or form to learn what we've got to come inside of the future of Vanguard Zombies and multiplayer over the next few months then do make sure you click that like button and make sure you subscribe road to a million is on right now only 80,000 to go let's do this thing so straight off the bat one of the coolest things that's currently being leaked about season one is going to be a brand new weapon now this weapon actually comes from a tv show in fact it comes from an anime called attack on titan you guys may have heard of it and it's going to be the sword weapon from that tv show inside of the game it does look like the swords are going to be dual wield which is freaking cool obviously i can't show you any of the in-game pictures of the sword but it looks exactly like the one of the tv show that you guys can see on the screen right now and also before we go any further all the leaks that i'm going to be talking about today come straight from zesty leaks and also nanny Co. so if you want to check them out definitely check them out over on twitter to stay up to date with all the leaks on call of duty vanguard so one of the coolest things that we've ever seen inside of call of duty as a bundle is apparently coming during december and that is going to be the krampus bundle now if you guys don't know krampus is basically an evil santa and if you've not seen the movie i massively suggest it it's a horror movie for christmas time it's brilliant but you guys can see a picture of krampus on screen right now not the one that's going to be inside of the game but the one from the movie and this bundle has been found inside of the game file so it suggests that this is going to be an operator that we're going to be able to play with inside of vanguard either that or Krampus is going to be some part of the zombies bonus mode that we get for the holiday season. Similar to last year where we got the holiday bonus inside of Cold War Zombies, this year is exactly the same. They said there's going to be holiday overlay inside of zombies, which means potentially there's a brand new game mode coming. But we actually have two leaked zombies game modes found inside of the game files. Now we don't know if these are coming to the game or they were just left over pieces of code. But these are domination and assault. Obviously both of these can be found inside of multiplayer, but so can other stuff inside of zombies that we have right now, like Blitz. So they potentially just use the exact same name again inside of zombies and the string of code actually does say zm so this string of code for domination and assault is meant for zombies but obviously no word on what those game modes actually are we can just assume what domination is kind of just stand in one area and then move to the next and survive zombies as well as that inside of season one we've also got new covenants come into the game now the covenants inside of the game are very simple it's this little thing inside of the map and basically you can use your sacrificial hearts to buy things that make you more powerful and new covenants are coming to the game inside of season one we don't know what those are yet but we do have new ones coming we also have new zombie season challenges this is nothing new we get them every single season during cold war and we will be getting them inside of vanguard as well so if you are a completionist like myself you will have more to do inside of season one i have also mentioned that there are a few surprises later in the season of season one that will lead up to the events of the main easter egg quest whether it be on this map or a new map we still don't know but the first main easter egg quest of vanguard zombies will be going live in season two which means the entirety of december and partially a bit of january we will have absolutely no easter egg content inside of this game unless during the holiday game mode they do include some side easter egg quests but like i said they mentioned that some of the surprises that will come later inside of this season will lead up to the events of that main easter egg quest we have also not exactly put a date on when we will get pack a punch camos inside of the game which i personally think is a bit weird that we haven't got them from launch right but they've not given us a date but they did say that things are in the works to add pack a punch camos inside of the game but one of the things that we have found out via leaks is that we do have brand new weapons coming to the game now try once again they've not said what these are but leakers have gone in the files and figured out that one of the potential weapons that we will be getting is going to be the ptrs 41 sniper rifle that you guys may remember from world of war it's an incredibly powerful sniper rifle on world of war and most likely it's going to be exactly the same here on vanguard not entirely sure if a sniper rifle is the best first weapon to drop for this game but hey i'm down for whatever new content they can provide us inside of this game with the state that it's in right now oh they also said that the easter egg that launches inside of season two will bring a brand new dark ether the entity to the storyline and he said coinciding with that new dark ether entity that's when we receive new artifacts so at the moment we have energy mine we have shatter blast we've got four right ring of fire and also ether shroud and there'll be a brand new one that correlates to the brand new dark ether entity that arrives during season two's main easter egg quest and i assume it's going to be there for going forward where we get a brand new artifact every single easter egg quest from there on when someone new is introduced but looking back inside of leaked content for December, it does look like we've got some free stuff that's coming to the game. Call of Duty normally give us free bundles around the holiday season or some special events like the 4th of July, and it looks like this year is no different. For the holiday season, the game files suggest that we will be getting two Christmas calling cards, two Christmas sticker sets, and also a New Year's Eve calling card as well. We've seen them in previous years where we just get these things for completely free just for logging in on that certain day. So do make sure that if you are around on Christmas or New Year to log in and get your free stuff. There is some really interesting 
custom bundles that were also found inside of the game files for later on during season two, three, four, or five, or six. There's no indication when these are gonna drop, but the game files suggest that there's some really cool ones coming. So like I just mentioned with the Christmas ones, there are more holiday bundles that will be coming throughout the season. There's one titled Cupid, which I assume is for Valentine's Day. There's one called Leprechaun, which I assume is for St. Patrick's Day, and one called Firecracker, which I assume is once again for 4th of July. But there's also some other ones. We know we got the Judge Dredd bundle and the Rambo bundle and even weirder stuff like that over on Cold War. Well, it seems like inside of the game files, it's suggesting that we're going to be getting a Terminator bundle inside of this game. Whether that's just leftover code from a bundle that didn't make it inside of Cold War, I don't know. But the game files suggest and do say that there is a Terminator bundle that we should be getting. There's also another four. I'm going to read these out right now. We've got Samurai bundle. We've also got the Tiger bundle, the Shuriken bundle, and also the Spear and Shield bundle. Now, I left those two until the last ones because they're the most interesting to me. Because as soon as I heard those, I instantly thought of zombies. I thought, Spear and Shield, Ancient Evil, Black Ops 4. Maybe we actually are going to be getting the shield from Ancient Evil inside of Vanguard. And Shuriken, we've had inside of Shaolin Shuffle. These assets exist in Call of Duty, so, I mean, they could definitely port them over to Vanguard. Whether it be zombies or multiplayer, I'm down for whatever. Also, things that are guaranteed going to be happening. We've got shipment still coming inside of November, which is obviously a Call of Duty format, which we've seen on loads of other games since then, but it is going to be coming out during November, which is brilliant, so that's before Season 1. We've also got the final days of the Verdansk Warzone map inside of November as well, and then of course, December 2nd Season 1 starts. All the content that I just spoke about will start rolling out, as well as the brand new Warzone Pacific map, which drops that day as well. So we have got a decent amount of content. Yes, the game at the minute is kind of lackluster in terms of Zombies content. Multiplayer is extremely fun, but like I said, Zombies is a little bit lackluster, and we could definitely do with a bunch of content. So, roll on Season 1. I'm hyped, and that is absolutely everything that we could currently know that is coming to Vanguard Zombies and Multiplayer and I will keep you guys up to date as much as possible but there you go if you enjoyed the video do make sure you leave a like make sure you click that subscribe button if you are brand new to become the latest member of the pizza club and help us on the road to 1 million subscribers and thank you for watching and peace out